Aloha! Welcome to Cooking with Lisi. Today I'm going to show you a simple dish you can make. Instead of claw pig cabbage or corned beef cabbage, we're going to do tuna cabbage. So all you need is head cabbage, all chopped up, washed, and dry. You also need tuna. Any type of tuna would do, but I really like this brand here. Um, it's the yellowfin tuna, and the brand is Genginoya brand. Normally you can get it at Costco, but I don't see it anymore, so I've been getting it at Safeway. They're like three ninety nine a, a can, but this brand is really, really good, dense tuna that's very tasty. Then you need olive oil, pepper, and salt. So I'm just going to show you here. My pan is all heat up that you can see and I'm gonna put some olive oil lots of olive oil that way the whole pan is coated with olive oil I'm gonna add the cabbage make sure all the waters are spin out so you don't create a lot of um, water content and then I'm just gonna move the cabbage around so they can get them evenly cooked all the way through and so I'm constantly moving it with the tongue so with lots of olive oil the pan will not dry out and your cabbage will be very crispy and tasty and not mushy. So I'm just gonna keep moving it around. It's gonna take probably about two to three minutes. The heat right now is on high, so depend on your stove. You might have to turn it down a little bit. So it doesn't get, if you start seeing the cabbage getting burnt, you know you gotta turn down the stove, um, the heat a little bit. So I'm gonna keep moving around. So right now it's about 50% cooked. You want it about 70, you want it about 80% cook. When the leaves start to soften up, so keep moving it around. I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. Now that it's about 75% cook, I'm turning it down a little bit, like halfway. You can see now it's more cooked, less crunchy, a little bit more soft. So this is about 80% cooked, excuse me. Now I'm going to open this can, which I really love. You don't need a can opener. I'm just going to pull the can top. And I'm going to put about half of this tuna in. It has olive oil in there. And I'm going to mix it around. I'm going to turn, now I'm going to turn off the heat and let the remainder heat cook the rest of the, the cabbage. Mix it up really, really well. So there should be enough oil where the pan is not sticky and the tuna is not being stuck to the pan. That's when you know you have enough oil. So don't be afraid to add more oil. Extra virgin olive oil. There's a big difference. High quality oil that your body can utilize that has high dense nutrients. Okay. So now it's all cooked. I'm going to add some salt. And pepper and that's it 
This is tuna and cabbage. You can add some cilantro in there if you have some cilantro or green onion if you want. Um, I don't have any of those, but normally if I do have cilantro, I like to put cilantro in here. So you can add whatever you want, but this is quite uh, basic, but it's really, really tasty. Eat it with hot rice, or you can even put it in a, in a burrito wrap. So, try it out for yourself. Check this out. Hope you can see, and see what you think. Any question, Lisi at journeytofitness.com. Aloha.